What I meant, what I said, what you heard and what you understood are four different things in every communication. In a good communication, they're four similar things, but in a bad communication, you've experienced this. They can be worlds apart. The work of empathy is closing the gap between what I meant and what you understood, and it takes some doing. Um, my name is Karen Faith, and I am the founder and CEO of Others Unlimited, which is an empathy training company. My background is in ethnographic research, which is a specialized form of observational study, which gets really up close and personal with people in the context of their lives. And over my career as a researcher and a trainer, I've discovered five mindsets, which are the biggest obstacles to empathy. They are, uh, that's bad, you're wrong, um, it's always been this way. Let me go to the other side. <laughs> Can't help it and screw them. These mindsets uh, really get in the way of, of our relationships and the way that we communicate with people. So to work against these mindsets, uh, we'll train in the five corresponding laws of practice. So those are the law of impartiality it teaches us that good and bad are relative terms and they're simply unhelpful labels for people. Judging others isn't just rude, it blocks our ability to understand them. Similarly, conflicting truths coexist. Um, believing that one person's rightness means another person's wrongness is simply inaccurate. We know that multiple conflicting truths can be true at the same time. Everyone's experience is their reality, and the law of multiplicity honors that plurality of truth. The law of presence is about refusing to let our past mistakes trap us in a pattern or our future worries limit our possibilities. The present moment is the only place where anything ever happens. So if we wanna make choices, that is where we need to be entirely. And sovereignty means power, but it also means responsibility. This law illuminates that every person is entirely responsible for their actions, their words, and their interpretations of their experiences. Taking ownership over this is immensely empowering and frees us from a lot of pain and agony. And finally, while we may be the gods of our own worlds, we are not the only ones here. Every interaction with others is like a United Nations because all of our worlds have different rules, different languages, different cultures, and ways of being. Being with others sometimes requires translation help. We need to actively learn about the worlds of others and be patient with them as they learn ours. So these laws, are incredibly freeing for individuals and relationships of all kinds. So come join us to learn more.